Hey y'all, welcome back to Underdog Magician Tarot. This is your girl Cheeky. I'm going to be giving you some messages for the sign of Virgo. So if you have Virgo anywhere in your chart, these messages may or may not resonate. Please take what apply and leave the rest. If they do resonate, please like and subscribe. I would truly appreciate that. To the ones that are new to my channel, welcome. I am recovering from a mini stroke I had in May, so please bear with me when it comes to speaking, as I may have to stop and take a breath or to rephrase my word because they come out as a slur or a stutter. Shout out to my subscribers. Thank you for watching my t taking the time out to watch my videos and to support my channel by subscribing. Please continue to like, comment, and share if you if you need to, if they resonate with you to support the channel, help the channel grow. Also, thank you to the ones that have been praying for my recovery. I appreciate you guys. I am sending back out love and light ten times fold to all of you guys. So let's tap into this energy. So I had already had a spread here, but I had to pause the video. And then I made, I made a mistake and stopped it. So we have liberation here. And we have awakening and we have we have freedom. Okay, so what I'm what I'm getting with the liberation and freedom, I mean, what I'm getting with the liberation and awakening here, someone could be like someone could have not been thinking before they did something, right? And now it's causing them to go through an awakening because you are now in a, a position of being free. Something allowed you to be stopped free from whatever that somebody was doing. Somebody could have been trying to hold you back. Somebody could have been like doing things that keep you at a certain like a certain um a certain limit in your life. Yeah, because we got the five of pentacles. We got the five of pentacles and the hermit. And we got the sun car here. Yes. Yeah, so, so someone could have been like constantly doing something to cause you to have some type of financial loss, feeling abandoned, being left in poverty, or dealing with poverty, some type of um, feeling alone, left out in the cold. Somebody could have also been like ghosting you with the hermit car here. But with the sun coming out over top of that, I feel like you found a solution here. Some of you could end up choosing yourself. In a predicament which allowed you to be free from whatever this was or whoever this was, I feel like you did not enter. You did not intertwine with this person when it came to their actions. Like you didn't go tick for tack. You didn't do what they were doing. You didn't do none of that. You just started choosing yourself. Yeah. We also have the Three of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. So yeah. There could have been someone at a distance here. There could have been a king of wands at a distance that is like putting something to rest here. Something is now becoming a lot more easier. I feel like this king of wands that's coming into your, I mean, this king of pentacles that's coming to your life is allowing you to be able to, it's like this person is allowing something to become so easy that you are able to rest now. You also are able to take vacations when you want to or the ones that, the ones that have been wanting to take vacations, it's, it's going to happen. Yeah, we also have angel card, unconventionality. It says, your unique qualities are an important part of your life purpose. It's okay to feel and be different from others. So, yeah, some of you could have been like, like I said, some of you could have acted a different way. You you did not retaliate or go tick for tack with this person, you know. You could have ended up just choosing yourself, you know, focusing on you, healing, you know. Just working on your inner self. What's the awake? Well, with the awakening card, we have the everything is fine. We had the full card. We had the two of pentacles and the eight of wands. Yeah. So now somebody is realizing that everything is going fine for you in your life. You could have had a new beginning here, and there's definitely balance happening rapidly for you when it comes to your finances with the Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands here. Something is definitely coming in very, very fast. Yeah, we got the um, we got the Six of Cups and the Renewal card with the Hermit, the Five of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, so. There could have been something that happened in the past here. You could have renewed something with somebody from your past and this person ended up ghosting you 
And it's like now they're in regret because they're realizing you're in this Ten of Pentacles energy. You could have received a windfall of money that's allowing you to live a certain type of way. Or you could have built a new foundation. Some of you could have also been, some of you could have also started a new fa a family with someone else. You know, but I'm, I'm also, I'm also picking up. Some of you could like receive a lot of, a lot of money here. Like some type of inheritance that was owed to you that allowed you to be able to buy a beautiful home, a car, and, um, I want to say some land. I want to say this house is like four or five bedrooms. You can have a beautiful, you can also have a beautiful white or black SUV or some of y'all can have a red SUV, but it's, it's big. You know, it's a big SUV, a truck, you know, cause some of you have like a lot of kids or whatever, or you just like space. But, but with the freedom card here, we had the page of Pentacles, the page of wands, the two of wands, the ace of swords, and the ten of Pentacles again. So, you could be feeling free at this time. Like I said, there could have been some type of um, windfall of money that came in. There was some good news about money that came in here. Somebody could have called you with this, this, this news. Or somebody could have traveled towards you. Somebody is deciding to tell you the truth about an inheritance or family. I'm definitely picking up on an inheritance. Somebody is definitely deciding to... Oh. Somebody is definitely deciding to tell you the truth here. Yeah, we got the Page of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. So somebody could be spying. Somebody could now be spying and watching you when it comes to a collaboration here. Yeah, and it's like because they're going through an awakening. We got the awakening card here twice again. This person is going through an awakening and could be frustrated and irritated because they're realizing that they could not hold you back anymore from receiving this information or this money or whatever. Yeah, because it's like whatever this is that you receive is allowing you to be victorious. You could be receiving a lot of recognition, a lot of attention, a lot of support. You know what I'm saying? If some of you were worrying about, if some of you were worrying about if you were wanna, if you were going to ever suffer or deal with poverty again, um, I'm hearing no. That's never going to happen again. You don't ever have to worry about that happening to you, happening to you anymore. I'm also hearing the song, The Storm Is Over. I also got some more messages with this freedom card. There could be like a reconciliation and then like some kind of a heartbreak because of a person that has to come in and, and leave right back out. This was like a father figure or emperor. Like this person could only just be coming in towards you to give you this news or this money and they got to go. But it's going to cause some type of sadness because they don't, they can't stay around you long. Or they're not going to be around long. What else, Spirit? Wait, I, I had these cards. What is this for Awakening Angels? Damn, I didn't see that card. What is this for Awakening? Thank you. We got balance out your masculine and feminine energy. Allow your feminine side to creatively inspire you and your masculine side to give you confidence. Yeah, so at this time, you could be balancing out your, your feminine and masculine energy when it comes to the situation. I feel like when it comes to your feminine side, you know, you could be a little bit more soft and kind and genuine. But when your masculine side kicks in, it's kind of like you are more, you know, guarded and protected and firm with your decisions. So that could be an issue here where it's kind of like you're on and off. Like, should I or should I not? At the end of the day, you know, once you receive this money, what decisions you need to make for you. What's best for you? Because once you receive this money, it's kind of like you are, you're going to be on your own to make the, the, the right decisions for yourself. Now, I'm not saying you ain't going to be guided to do what you need to do, but you will have to think quick, be on your feet, you know, like, what do I need? What's important right now? How do I got to come off? You know, how do I need to be? 
Do I need to be nice and smooth? Do I got to be in my shit? You know, I got to be on my shit. Do I got to be firm? That masculine side. But when that time come, Virgo, you would definitely know. What else, angels? What else messages? Damn, that's a lot. Can I have one, please? What else messages do you have for Virgo for freedom? Thank you. We have control issues, yeah. So, someone could have been trying to control the way you live. The way you, the way you, the way you, the, the, the decisions you make. Whoever this person, this person that has some type of control issue here. Somebody was trying to keep you at a, a minimum of a way of living. Like, somebody wanted you to live at a minimum, but your destiny was not for you to ever live at a minimum. You could be a very wealthy person or come from a very, a very wealthy family. But somebody was trying to hold you back from that, from from your potential and being being that person. They were stopping your growth. Like, they didn't want you to grow to a point where you end up experiencing that wealth that can lead to generations of wealth, you know, for your children and their children and so on and so on. Like, somebody wanted you to believe that your life was at a minimum. Like, that's all there is, that's, that's all it is to have is just what you got right now in front of you. But that's not it. That wasn't your destiny. Your destiny is to be wealthy, to live, you know, in that beautiful home and have that nice car and white picket fence around the house and your dogs and birds and cats and shit. Please don't make me hit that damn button because I'll be crying. Let me move my mouse off of that stop button because I, I tend to pop it sometimes like fuck. And I hate doing part twos. I hate it. <sighs> oh. <laughs> All right, Spirit, what other messages do you have for Virgo? here and you deserve you deserve what's been owed to you I feel like Virgo some of this whatever whatever's been going on or whatever you've been being held shit I didn't even see them whatever you've been being held back from it's like it's been far too long now you know spirit is tired or getting tired of whoever this person was that was holding you back from not from you not receiving this we got a witch here and we got nature spirits so some of you could be like that could be you you can be very powerful when it comes to nature, you know, the weather. Like some of a lot of your power could be like um a lot of your power could be what's the, what's the I'm trying to let me take my time, okay. So a lot of y'all's power could be like very very potent when you're in nature. Like, you can make something happen quicker by being in nature, being outside, walking, talking. You know, there could also be um, animals, birds, squirrels, uh, bunnies. Something about your power in nature, you know. What else, Spirit? Maybe you manifest, maybe you manifest things outside. You know, you have a you have a big thing with manifesting outside, which allow things to come into fruition quicker and faster for you. Yeah, we got the owl here. We got the elder, and we got haunted. Yeah, so so now somebody is like, you could have insight here about an elder. Something something an elder told you. This could have been like a grandmother. Something about a grandmother here or a grandfather. This could be like somebody that passed away. I feel like somebody has already given you this information through a dream. And somebody is haunted by this. Like somebody is like, oh my fucking God, please don't let this person find out about this money. Or 
don't let this person ever find out they had this just some type of inheritance waiting on them all these years because you know then they'll be mad that I kept them from it or whatever or maybe I was trying to steal it from them or maybe I could have been like brainwashing them to think that their life wasn't wasn't as wasn't in no type of expansive um, position where they can go further than where they are yeah somebody is haunted by what they've done but I'm also picking up like I said some of you could have had insight from an elder this could have been a grandmother that came to you in a dream and showed you something go back and think about that dream you had a few years ago when your grandmother showed you something she showed you something um, remember the key Remember the key she showed you in that dream. There's more. Not just the key, but what did you do with the key? What did you figure out? What did what did you find with that when you found that key? She showed it to you already. You used that key to open up something to find the truth, right? It might not have been So when you found the when you found the when you found the key it allowed you to open something up because there was some type of important information in there for you to read or see. But when you had the dream, you know, this is for some of you, not everybody. When you had the dream, um, it's like the paper you were trying to read, you understood what it said, but it was kind of like some of the words were missing, you know what I'm saying? Like shit was missing on it, but you knew what it said. You seen it. So that, 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 elder that ancestor you know there they already gave you insight that there is something that's owed to you you know but there could have been a lot of people holding you back from receiving it I don't know what my dog went to but a uh, one of them right here somebody could have been holding you back from let me um, get the blessing cards Somebody could have been holding you back from receiving this. Somebody wanted you to be at like a certain minimum, a certain minimum or limit in your life. They did not want you to expand no type of way. They wanted you to think that the way you live was just, was just what it was. But that's not it. What's the blessing message you have for Virgo? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, we have a blessing on your wisdom. See, I told you. Some of you already know. You you already know something. You already you already knew this. We got a blessing of prosperity. Yeah, some of, some of you already knew or had insight that there was some type of money owed to you. Some type of inheritance or something. Something here. Yeah, we got a blessing of support. Yeah. We got a blessing to heal a relationship. And we also got a blessing of fire. So some of you could be healing a relationship with a fire sign. Or a fire sign could want to heal a relationship with you. Because someone could be having to find their way through a situation. What's the blessing spirit? Yeah, we got a blessing on a new journey here. We got a blessing on the senses that give the world to you, yeah, blessings from the universe, and a blessing to bring clarity, yeah, when it comes to a what, a air sign maybe, yeah, so that's all I have for you Virgo, I hope this helped, please stay tuned, I will definitely be back with more messages, I'm out.